Hello friends, in this video we will learn about optimize applications for mobile devices in uh, Design Studio 1.6. This is a unit 5. So in this we will see means how we can access uh, applications on mobile devices and how we can optimize uh, the applications to be used on mobile uh, devices. The first lesson is about accessing application uh, on mobile devices. So it has very uh, convenient and unified user access for large mobile community because use uh, no means every uh, every now means users are using mobile uh, devices for accessing various applications or uh, various their uh, use as well. So in this area means we sh uh, design studio of course more uh, uh, flexibility means to create design studio analysis applications and then the, it can be accessed to across the platforms so it can leverage the collaboration fun functionality between uh, various uh, devices it has unified usability through sap bi mobile solution and it, it can enable large mobile con community so if you see me this is one uh, overview page on sap B bi mobile uh, platform where how it looks uh, you can see various charts or graphical data uh, showing and if you see this is a dashboard on the right side design studio app you can say it has uh, tabular data and a graphical chart as well so this way we can develop uh, mobile applications in uh, design studio and then that can be used uh, by the users and also users also can use directly the by default uh, templates which are available uh, there for mobile uh, applications that they can just uh, use it and then uh, they can uh, just access that uh, data over that templates so i will be showing that in a practical session how we can use it uh, so whenever we develop a mobile uh, analysis application we need to um, make it mobile so means how we can you know, use it or how, how we can do it in a bi launch pad we need to go to the folders that it contains suppose this is an application which i wanted to make it as a um, mobile so what i can do i can just right click on that particular application uh, go to the categories once it categorizes means the new pop-up window comes up where we can assign uh, below their corporate categories we need we, we need to assign it to mobile so once once we assign uh, it as mobile it will be like applicable to the mobile uh, devices where it can uh, be accessible from there uh, then there is an integration of uh, sap network portal uh, mobile as well means if you see this is a mobile optimized logon screen for netweaver then if you see launcher view to open the documents this is one more uh, launcher skin available then design studio applications on netweaver portal mobiles uh, as well so these are the different uh, documents or options available uh, for mobile uh, applications. So for while deploying means it, uh, to the um, iPad or iPhone devices means there is a QR uh, scan code available means that is you that is being used as a simple deployment means we can just get that QR code uh, scanned and then we can just send that uh, application to that uh, particular device so it the qr, QR code uh, is it's mean like means it's a particular url uh, the application url which can be used uh, to say uh, access the application from the devices so we just need to that uh, scan that qr code scanner on mobile devices and once we are uh, we, we are done with that scanning the qr code the uh, deployment of the application happens uh, very rapidly so it's uh, very easy to deploy the applications as well i will be showing this in a practically okay so coming to the next lesson which is about optimizing applications for mobile devices means how we can optimize the applications for mobile devices so there are while developing the applications in design studio there are uh, navigation behavior options available so for cross tab, if you see, this is uh, there is an option optimization for low data volume. If you see pixel based uh, scrolling, uh, we can specify row limit, column limit, and 
if you see this uh, scrolling is row based not mobile like means if you see uh, if it is a row based then it will be a not mobile like application and if it is pixel based then it is um, mobile like so if it's, it, this pixel based scrolling if it is false then that that means it is not uh, for mobile devices we need to uh, make it as um, true that property pixel based scrolling so that it it will be available as uh, mobile application so this uh, mobile applications is not suitable for large data sets because uh, mobile devices will not uh, be capable that, uh, to hold that particular large data sets so because the data is cropped uh, after a specified number of rows or columns so uh, but but we need to enable this option when we wanted to develop a mobile application in design studio that uh, pixel based scrolling should be a uh, true so how we can so suppose this is a dimension filter means how we can apply to the uh, mobile so there are two pop properties like desktop tile for pop, pop up which we, when it is false then it will look like this it will have these buttons like back or apply that means it, it is um, for um, a mobile application and if it is true desktop tile for pop up it, if it is true then it will have this uh, uh, the dimension filter will look like it will have this uh, option where it will show you here but the buttons will go uh, down apply and back so um, this is just a means for mobile and uh, desktop means how we can use it so for dimension filter so for while using the dimension filter we need to use these properties then there is one more option like page caching uh, for page book component so whenever there is a large data volume uh, and that needs to be transferred so we need to make sure that means it should transfer uh, at an ac acceptable loading behavior means it should not affect the system performance or the mobile device speed so we need to set this property in a um, design studio so that it will be the data will be transferred as small as possible uh, to run the application smoothly so um when uh, so this is the property where if you see page caching the property is none there are three options none all are just run so none means no page will cache uh, so when there is high data volume scenarios we we can say as no no page all every page is cached low data volume scenarios then we can say we can cache every page adjacent the previous and next previous so the the page after page it will be cached so like this the based on the data we can set this properties but it is useful for performance of the applications we need to set this application um, properties in page caching so that it will be um, the applications will run uh, smoothly and uh, these are some of the recommendations from uh, sap uh, while developing iphone applications uh, the first is keep the application simple means if that is simple then it will not um, it will not take time to load the application on mobile devices so that means we need to use uh, um, small components or less components uh, only create application based on predefined templates for iphones means whatever the templates for available for iphones uh, use that templates because other templates may not work uh, on iphones uh, so do not use cross tab component as, as this is not supported by sap so while developing applications we cannot use cross tab so it is not supported by uh, sap for mobile devices only design application in ported format landscape orientation as and is not supported by sap when running the application in the business objects mobile solutions so these are some of the recommendations we need to keep in mind while developing iphone applications so the main thing is uh, we need to keep the application as simple as possible so that it will be uh, easier to load and uh, to read as well so that's it from this unit uh, whatever we learn means like how how we can access mobile applications how we can assign applications to the mobile category in business uh, intelligence uh, platform then navigation behavior for cross tab and page book uh, sap recommendations for iphone apps development 
so that's it from this unit i hope you have understood this concepts we will be taking a practical examples on this uh, how we can use these applications so if you have any questions then please put it in a comment section um, if you like my video then please like and subscribe to my channel so that you will get to know about my next uh, unit video thank you for watching